I'm Joel, and we're back with some more tech trivia. Hi, and welcome back to a brand new episode of Tech Geeks Try Stuff. I'm Jackson. I'm Joel. In our previous episode, we had guests come on and answer five tech trivia questions for 10 points each. This time around, there will be a twist. Instead of using points, when the guest gets a question wrong, they will be eating a mouthful of fire noodles as a penalty. Feel free to play along with us in the comments below. But first, here's a short message from our sponsors. Do you have a story to tell? Do you have knowledge to share? Do you have ideas to make the world a better place? Then make a podcast with the Roadcaster Pro. Record up to four people, easily include phone interviews and instant jingle playback. Make your podcast with the Roadcaster Pro. Roadcaster Pro, professional podcasting made easy. Do I get a glass of water? No. No, no water. <laughs> no, no water. No. All right, and we have our first guest here. Welcome, Canon. Thank you for having me. Do you understand the rules? Do we ask five trivia questions. Mm -hmm. For every wrong answer, you have mm -hmm. to take a fork full of fire noodles. All right, are you ready to go? Let's do it. Okay. Your first question is, which mobile messaging platform was acquired by Facebook in 2014 for $19 billion. Was it A? What's that? <laughs> Was it A, WeChat? Mm -hmm. B, WhatsApp? C, Telegram? Or D, Skype? Mm -hmm. uh, I know they acquired multiple platforms, but if I remember correctly, that was, what was the year again? 2014. I'm pretty sure that's WhatsApp. 70% mm -hmm. sure, go. Is that your final That's answer? That's my final answer. And the correct answer is... What's that? <laughs> You're absolutely oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, your next question is... When data is transmitted in both directions, but not simultaneously, the process mm. is called A. Simplex B. Half duplex mm. C. Full duplex mm. Or D, half simplex? It's full duplex. You said both? So, and you said both, right? Because I, wait, wait, well, wait a second. Wait a second. Full duplex is, uh, I thought that was um, on the rising and falling uh, frequency, and, but it's not simultaneous. Um, this is a tough question. Is it a trick question? No, it's not. Um, well, I'm already panicking. Um, let's go with, okay, let's go with uh, half duplex. Is that your final answer? Um, I don't want it to be, but yes. And the correct answer is half duplex. Oh, you're right. I don't have to eat this. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Which of the following terms is used to describe the transparency of an image? Is it A, brightness, B, saturation, C, color balance, mm. or D, opacity? To describe transparency. Mm -hmm. in, well, in which program are you talking about? Let's go with the opacity final answer. Locking in D, opacity? Yeah. The correct answer is <laughs> D, opacity. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you got that right for me too. <laughs> yeah. A 4K display mm. has 4,000 A. Total pixels B. Horizontal pixels C. Vertical pixels or D. Diagonal pixels Oh, I, th mm, I thought 4K was uh, a multiplier of the... I thought it was, a, it was um, the X multiplied by the Y, but... So total pixels? Well, that can't be right, because there's way Are more Are you ready to have a fork full of fire noodles? <laughs> <laughs> there's, way more, uh, there's way more than 4,000 pixels in a 4K screen. I, what would diagonal pixels even mean? Like, there's like a, like a line across this? Yeah, it doesn't make any sense, but... Uh, I want to eat one of these, so let's go ahead with, with diagonal. 
<laughs> Diagonal pixels? Yeah. Is that your final answer? I'm pretty sure that's not the okay. right answer. The correct answer is... It's horizontal, it's right? It's vertical. Ver vertical. Okay. Oh. I just lost some of my noodles already. Oh, oh! You enjoying the fire noodles? Mmm. Mmm. This is excruciatingly good. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for playing, Kenneth. Oh, thank you, thank you for having awesome. me. Awesome. Dave, welcome. The returning champion, five I know. on five on you one, had five one when it didn't matter. Yep. I think these noodles taste disgusting, so that's gonna be tough. <laughs> All right, let's see how you go. And I'm also sick. Your first question is, which of the following is true regarding Wi-Fi extenders? Is it A, connected to the main router via Ethernet? B, throughput is unaffected. C, increases your internet speed. And D, Throughput is halved. Um, let's see. Range is half, or throughput is half, throughput is unaffected, connected via Ethernet, and what was the third? Oh, Increases your internet speed. Doesn't do that. Uh, connected via Ethernet, because they're supposed to be put in other rooms of the house. So it's gotta be either throughput is unaffected or throughput is half. So you've come down to the conclusion that it could either be... Throughput is halved. Or oh. throughput is unchanged. Okay. Um, because I don't think they're connected via Ethernet, uh, because the whole point is they're not near your router. So that wouldn't make sense. And then whatever I said for the other one holds true, which I forgot what I said. Internet is uh, increases your internet speed. Yeah, why well, would it increase your internet speed? It doesn't mm -hmm. make any sense. So I'm gonna say throughput is unchanged, whichever letter that was. So B, throughput B. is unaffected. That's what I'm gonna go with, final so, answer. Final answer, locking that in? Yeah. The correct answer is D, ah. throughput is halved. Ah. Ah. There we go. Mm -mm. How does that taste? Terrible. <laughs> it's hard to swallow when you have a massive sore throat. Oh. Who would like voluntarily go out and be like, I'm gonna eat these. <laughs> Which company acquired most of Yahoo's internet business for $4.48 billion in 2017? I'm still trying to swallow this giant forkful. <laughs> Was it A, Alibaba, B, Verizon, C, AT&T, or D, Facebook? Verizon. Yeah, I remember that story. So Verizon bought out Yahoo's internet business. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Yep, I remember that happening. The correct answer is... Verizon, you're absolutely right. Save this round. I can't eat this whole next scoopful. Well, don't get any questions wrong. The actions of combining multiple network connections in parallel in order to increase throughput is called A. Bonding B. Beam forming C. Attenuating or D. Modulating I have absolutely no idea. Most of those words, I don't know what they mean. Bonding, I know what that means, but that seems too easy. It was bonding. Beam forming. Beam forming. Attenuating mean? and modulating. Um, hmm. I have absolutely no clue, so let's just go with attenuating. The correct answer is A, bonding. Oh, that's so, it seems so obvious. This scoop full is so big. I know. It's not that it's hot, it's just gonna, it's so gross. Ah, 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 ah. That part fell off, didn't count. Ah. <clears throat> you don't find it spicy? It's spicy, but it's not, that's not what's bothering me. It's the disgustingness of them. <laughs> I have a pretty high tolerance for hot food, so. Okay. Which of the following is not a cryptocurrency? Oh, this is just a blind guess. Is A, BTC, B, That's the ETH. Oh, there are abbreviations too? C, XRP, 
And D, ISP. ISD. ISP? Sure, because I know that means internet service provider, so hopefully it's not also a cryptocurrency. Is that your final answer? Sure. The correct answer is D, ISP. Thank heaven. <laughs> All right. Whew. All right, I'm feeling the burn now, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Just so you all out there know, this is not fun. I'm doing this because I love y'all. <laughs> Your final question. Hopefully you get this right. Which of the following terms is used interchangeably with white balance? Is it A, saturation, B, hue, C, temperature, or D, exposure? Interchangeably with white balance. Oh, I should know this. Saturation. Hue. Hue is based on color, right? Temperature and exposure. Temperature is if the colors are warm or cold, so like orange versus blue. Exposure is the amount of light let in. Let's go with saturation. Unfortunately, the correct answer is temperature. <sighs> Pick another fault, fool, please. It's so gross, guys. <laughs> it's so disgusting. <laughs> and not only that, they're not even like hot. So like the texture of the noodles is all like bleh. They're room temperature. Oh, you must be enjoying it by now. I do it for you. <laughs> Thanks for playing, Dave. I hate you all. <laughs> oh, I want a drink. Welcome, James. Hi, Jackson. Have you tried this before? Uh, I have, and they are particularly hot. They are pretty, I thought they'd be, I thought I'd be fine with them, but actually they burn my mouth quite a lot. Okay, looking forward to it? Oh yeah, 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 <laughs> I, mean, I can't wait. Okay, let's hope you don't get any questions wrong That's today. That's what I'm hoping to. Okay, your first question is, which of the following is the best solution for Wi-Fi congestion? A, switch to a different router. Mm -hmm. B, switch to a different channel. C, rename the Wi-Fi network or D, reboot the router? B, switch to a different channel. I'm sure about that one. I've written lots of articles about Wi-Fi performance. And the correct answer is... B, switch to a different channel. That wasn't too Whoa. bad, was it? <laughs> Only four more chances to get... <laughs> oh, I swear my heart rate's gone so high. <clears throat> and your next question is... Data cached on a computer storage device when system memory has run out is called A. Flash memory B. RAM C. Virtual memory or D. Hot swappable storage So I don't think it's hot swappable storage I don't think it's RAM which leaves virtual memory and whatever the first one was Flash memory. Flash I don't think it's flash either because that's more associated with like storage devices. I'm gonna go with virtual. Locking in C, Locking virtual in C. memory? Yeah. And you are absolutely right. <laughs> Good. Which of the following improves the range of a wireless network? Mm -hmm. A, installing a high gain ante antenna. B, switching to the five gigahertz band. C, switching to a different channel. Or D, using a shorter SSID. So the SSID won't make any difference. Switching to a different channel is to do with congestion, not the range. So I am going to go with switching to five gigahertz, as that's a more powerful frequency. The correct answer is A, installing a high gain antenna. Oh no, man. Five gigahertz actually reduces the yeah. distance. Yeah. Oh. Take your pick. <sighs> Which one's smallest? I think this one's smaller. I think the, right in the middle, but that one looks strongest. I'm going to go with one of the old ones. Okay. I'm going to go with the, the one that's been sitting here the longest. Bon oh, appetit. Man. <laughs> Which of the following terms describe the phenomena where one or more horizontal lines appear on a display? causing video to be out of sync. Mm -hmm. Is it A, stuttering, B, screen tearing, C, ghosting, or D, motion blur? Oh man, this one's gonna be a complete guess. Um, I don't think it's motion blur. Mm -hmm. That sounds like something just specific to the video. Mm -hmm. um, 
Ghosting. That seems unlikely. That sounds like there might be something something that shouldn't be there rather than just a mistake, like a, a juttering. Mm-hmm. And then there was stuttering. And screen tearing. Screen tearing. Stuttering sounds more correct. Screen tearing sounds like I'm just imagining the screen bursting open, mm -hmm. which sounds a bit extreme for what it is. Oh, I'm going to go for stuttering, I think. And the correct answer is... Screen tearing. Oh. I'm sorry, James. <laughs> I nearly got it. I nearly See, got it. See, when screen tearing happens, horizontal line appears on the screen yeah. and causes the top and the bottom to be out of sync. Ah, uh, okay. Good. Good. I get another one of these. You get another one. Are you sure you, you want to go for the older one or the new no, one? No, no, that one's massive. The one. Yes, I it is massive. Is so it's either a massive one or a spicier one, or one that looks uh, spicier. At least. I'm gonna go for the one that looks spicier, just because it might taste nicer. I don't know. Okay. Right. Let's go for this one then. Oh dear. Oh. <laughs> mm. Mm -mm. Mm. Mm -mm. Is that spicier than the other? Mm. We'll have to wait and see. Okay. Mm. Final question. Yeah. I think you'll do okay in this. Which of the following is not a cold crypto hardware wallet? I don't think I do. I don't a think blockchain. I uh huh. B, Ledger Nano S, mm -hmm. C, Trezor, and D, Keep Key. Well, I don't know if B through D, but blockchain is the underlying technology of cryptocurrency rather than a like a wallet. Wait, what was the question? <laughs> was it a wallet? I'm confusing myself now. I'm like... <laughs> the finals have gone to your head. Which of the following is not a cold crypto hardware wallet? Yeah. All right. Do you so, realize that blockchain recently released their own wallet? No. Just oh, saying. Man. So that's uh, okay, right. A, blockchain, yeah. B, Ledger Nano S, C, Trezor, and D, Keep Key. Oh, Keep Key sounds like a password storage or something. Or are you just trying to throw me off? I don't I know. Am, I, I am, am, I am, oh. yeah. We've been playing games with this guy for like a week and every time it's impossible to read what he actually means. So now I don't know, I was so certain that it was blockchain. I'm gonna go with blockchain. blockchain. I'm gonna, I'm, no, I'm not be listening confident. to you, I'm going yes, for blockchain. blockchain. Oh, now like I know. <laughs> He's telling me to be confident, no. I'm gonna stick with blockchain, I'm sticking, I'm sticking with blockchain. I have to eat another one's stupid noodles. No, that's on me. Blockchain? Blockchain. No answer is... Blockchain, oh, you're absolutely right. <laughs> oh man, well, I nearly man. fell for you. <laughs> How are you feeling? Okay, actually it's cleared up. I had a really blocked nose before. Okay. So this has actually been, so like my throat is burning a little bit. But it's helpful. Yeah, but my okay. nose feels a lot better. Thank you for playing, James. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Welcome, Ben. Hello, Jackson. I had like half a plate of these the other day, mm -hmm. so I'm hoping that a sp uh, fork four or two won't be too bad, okay. but we will see. Let's get started. And uh, you get a bonus round. Oh, So bonus. you get six questions. Okay, <laughs> great. I'm not sure if that's a bonus or not, but I'll take it. Okay, your first question is, which of the following HTTP status codes indicates that the requested resource is no longer available and will not be available again? Is it A, 404, B, 403, C, 410, or D, 301. So I know it's not D, because 301 is a redirect. Um, mm -hmm. 403 means you're forbidden to access, so that would not be. Uh, 404 means that it cannot be found. Um, I'm not familiar with 410, so it's, you're saying that it's not available and it will never be available. Um, 404 is a more general, like a, from a typo or something. Um, so I'm gonna say, I'm gonna think I'm gonna say 410 uh, because that one seems like it's more of a specific purpose, like we're not gonna allow you access to this anymore. Um, so I'm not feeling greatly confident, but I'll say it's 410, final answer. The correct answer is C, 410, All you're right. absolutely right. All right. Which of the following HTTP status codes oh, great. indicates that the requested resource has been moved and all future requests should be directed to the given URI. Is it A, 404, B, 403, C, 410, 
or D301. Okay, so we just went over this again. So 404 is it can't be found. 410 is permanently down. Um, 403 means you don't have access to authorize it, or you don't have authorization to access it. So it has to be 301, which is a redirect. So yes, I, D301. That was, that was an easy one. Yeah. It was is D301. Okay. Well done, well done. Your next question is, Ingress Protection Marking IPXX classifies the degree of protection by mechanical casings and enclosures. What does the first digit indicate? Is it A, liquid level of liquid ingress protection? B, mechanical impact resistance? C, solid particle protection? Or D, oil resistance? So this is the IP rating that you hear on phones and cases and things like that. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm not super familiar with every little detail. Um, I, I am leaning towards liquid and water resistance because you know, that's the primary thing that it measures, at least in my mind. I've never heard of that being used to measure uh, physical destruction. Um, and mm -hmm. I believe they only just started adding dust resistance to phones, and that's the second digit, I believe. Mm -hmm. So it's, what was D again? Oil resistance. Uh, I don't think it's oil resistance because that's a certain coating they put on. Um, so I'm going to say liquid water resistance. The correct answer is C, solid particle protection. Okay. So IP67, yeah. the six will indicate that it's dust proof. Seven will indicate the level of water protection. Is it? So okay, let's see what we got here. Take your pick. Um, this one looks like it's nice and tidy. Okay. And this is a huge spoonful. <laughs> okay. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. Nice one. Mmm. <laughs> My God. <laughs> the room temperature in this is so bland. I know. Okay. Which of the following addresses are unique to a particular device? Is it A, IPv4 address? B, MAC address, C, email address, or D, public IP address? So IP addresses can change any time. You can use an email address on more than one device. A MAC address is hardware coded and cannot be changed, so I would say MAC address is unique to any device. What about an IPv4 address? Your IPv4 address can change when you get a new one from the router, so it is indeed MAC address. The correct answer is B, MAC address. Absolutely right. All right. Good one. Which of the following audio codecs is not a lossless format? Not lossless, okay. Is it A, AC3, B, FLAC, C, ALAC, or D, APE? So I know it's not FLAC because it's lo that's lossless. I'm guessing C, I've never heard of that, but I'm guessing it's lossless as well because it has an L in it. The other two I'm really not sure about, AC3 and D, so, what was D again? APE. I'm really not sure. Um, I'm gonna, s I'll flip a coin mentally, I'll go with uh, ACE is not lossless. A, so A is not lossless. The correct answer is A, AC3. Okay, <laughs> that was a bit of a lucky guess. So, yeah. so flat is free lossless audio codec, A is Apple's lossless audio okay. codec. APE is Monkey Audio's lossless codec, and AC3 is a lossy codec. Okay. I figured I thought that was app. Now that you say that, it makes sense. Fantastic. But it didn't come to mind. Here's Whew. your bonus round. Bonus round. Okay. Oh boy. So Who you, is the best so writer? So if you get this AC3. wrong, you eat all four. What? I'm, I never signed up for this. <laughs> what the heck? Man. Just kidding. Okay. Which company currently owns Motorola Mobility? Is it A, Google, B, IBM, C, Lenovo, and D, AT&T? This is a good question. I know Google owned Motorola for a time. They do not anymore. I'm pretty sure AT&T doesn't own them. So it's between Lenovo and what was the other one? IBM. I don't think IBM owns too many manufacturers. Are you 100% sure Google no longer owns Motorola? I'm pretty sure, because they own them, only own them for a short time. That's when they started making like their better phones and they were kind of similar to stock Android. Mm -hmm. So I want to say I something rings a bell about Lenovo owning Motorola and I think they still do. 
um, I'm not confident in IBM. So I'm gonna say Lenovo owns Motorola. The correct answer is C, Lenovo. All right. <laughs> Also, who would you like to nominate to have this for four five noodles? Um, uh, how about you <laughs> have them? <laughs> Me? Yeah, you haven't had any yet. Okay. <laughs> Which one? Um, this middle one looks good. What? That's like one of the biggest ones. Well, oh yeah. man. If I had a dark one, you're gonna have a dark one too. That's like those are spicier. Okay, I guess that's fair enough. It's, it's not fun being on this end. <laughs> <laughs> Which one did you know how it feels? Oh, look at that, folks. Woo! One gulp. <laughs> There's some cool fire noodles. I think that makes it worse. Oh, uh, that was good. I, I'm, I'm sad I got one wrong, so I couldn't have a per keep the perfect streak going. But, I know. Yeah, one scoop wasn't bad, so. But one yeah. wrong out of six questions, that's yeah. not bad. But the bonus question, let me make up for it. I know. So, yeah. Thank you for playing. Thank you. That's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in our next episode. Bye. Bye-bye.